Good morning everybody, I'm Ange and I'm the Digestive Detective. Um, so this month I'm going to be talking about the skin and um, the gut and how they're all connected. Um, so skin, as we know, is our biggest organ. Um, and what we are finding out right now is that the gut controls a lot of the areas of our body and the skin is just another part of that. So it's really interesting um, what's happening in the skin and gut world. So gut and the skin have a bi-directional relationship. So if things aren't, so on the skin we have our own skin microbiome. So if things aren't going there, it can affect our gut and vice versa. Definitely what's happening in your gut is, um, for some people, is coming out in your skin for sure. Um, so what they think is they think that um, gut bacteria itself is what drives a lot of um, what's happening with our skin. Um, you may have heard me say before talking about the diversity of foods and eating as many colors as you want to feed your gut bacteria. Well, the short chain fatty acids that we make from that food that's then fed to our gut bacteria and to our colon cells contributes to that um, inflammatory effect. So if you're not eating those sorts of things, you will have a higher level of inflammation, which will in turn affect not only skin, but your gut and your brain and lots of other things. So the more of these short chain fatty acids we make, the less inflammation that we will have. Um, so what happens if we have changes in our gut flora? Um, for example, you know, it increases that permeability of our gut um, and intestine, and that makes them become leaky. And when they become leaky, we leak proteins into our um, bloodstream, and then that causes an immune response, and then that causes inflammation. And over and over and over again with this happening, um, it can be reflected in our skin. So for example, if you have gluten, gluten is a common one for everybody, whether you've got a problem with gluten or not, it will cause that immune response. So um, doing that over a long period of time, if you know you have gut issues, that will be really problematic. So we also know that eczema and acne and dermatitis are all inflammatory skin conditions. And um, that psoriasis is a condition that's affected by our immune system as well as by inflammation. So a percentage of people that have, go on to have psoriasis also have inflammatory bowel disease. So you can see that the link there is quite strong. Um, so the good news is if you suffer from any of these conditions, it can be influenced by the food you eat. And I think that's really important to remember that we can control what's happening. Um, so probiotics has also been shown to be really, really helpful in their skin conditions. Um, and look, the research around this is, is reasonably new. Um, so for example, when they were trialing pro probiotics, um, to see how effective they were on skin conditions, they had a group of about 300 people that had acne um, who took a probiotic. Um, so they had those people that took the probiotic in the group had an 80% improvement over the their acne than the actual control group. So that's 80%, that's pretty significant in my opinion. Um, and if you've got acne all over your face, um, you know, finding something that's going to work as changing your diet and um, taking a probiotic, you'd actually do, want to do that for an 80% um, change. Um, so there's still a lot we don't know about gut bacteria and um, how these gut bacteria and our skin work together. Um, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more research on this as time goes on. So for me as a gut health expert, I'm always teaching people about food and their gut health. You know, that's a really important part of my practice. Um, so because most people are so confused and even me at times, I think, oh my God, I don't know what to eat. Um, so I think it's really important that that you get the basics down. And once you've got the basics, you don't have to follow a fad diet. You can eat to support your microbiome and your gut microbiota, and which in turn will support your skin. So if you have any of these skin conditions and wonder how foods and probiotics can help you, um, book in for a free 15 minute consult and I can give you an action plan on what to do next. So for those of you on Facebook, the link is right up above in the title of this um, video. Um, for those on Insta, the link is in the bio. And for those of you on LinkedIn, the link is in the comments. It's hard to get all that together. So have a fantastic day, everyone. And I will see you next week. We'll be talking about acne in particular. Um, so if you know anybody, share the link with them when it comes up. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.